Potter's Journal, February 2019. I have been doing without in the studio. I have been out of my um, ever popular sea mist glaze. Um, not mine, a commercial glaze. And I've been recycling every odd bit of clay I could find. Um, and even using up a few odd things I, could, I had around. But um, let's see what's going on in the back of the Ford Escort today. Okay, I have restocked. Let's get a closer look here. Um, I borrowed this because I didn't want the clay to freeze in the back of my truck. I've got 700 pounds of clay. That'll keep me busy for a little while. I've got that ever popular sea mist glaze again. And I'm going to test some small batches of standards uh, medium cork their um, pale seaweed, a mottled green transparent, and a hay bale yellow to see what that does. Um, I also want to mix up some of my own glazes, so uh, my yeah, glaze, glaze lab needed some frit and kaolin. Uh, I want to mix up some white slip as well. Um, some essentials, cones. I always seem short on stilts, so I got three little stilts there. Um, bat pins, my setter pins um, in the kiln look pretty deteriorated, so I'll have these on stock in case it goes. And the big ticket item, okay, a hydrometer, um, $40, well, only $38. But since I use my glazes to a precise measurement, it's probably a good idea. Okay, now that we're stocked, let's see what we can get going on. Uh, yeah, now in the studio with the new glazes and the clay. Hey, I am anxious to get these new glazes tested. Oh my God, these from standard in addition to one of my own to add to what I've been using. I finally figured out what I have, and now we'll try something new again. And in their catalog, in their catalog they had recommended 18 ounces of water per pound of dry glaze. So I've got this filled up with warm water since it's um, relatively cold in here in the winter. And since I've got to put this through a sieve, it'll be warm enough to do that. Okay, we'll let that bubble in a bit and add the rest. I hope these buckets are big enough. They're, I think they're going to be just barely. Um, and being tall and narrow, it's big enough to, you know, test um, some glazes in with the mugs. Um, the other thing I better do is mark these before I do anything else. Okay, medium cork. That's this one. Okay, medium cork, hay bale yellow, and molten green transparent, and pale seaweed. And this seems so unlike me, everything lined up in neat soldier-like rows. Okay, bubbling in. I will put a link up to my importance of sieving pottery glaze. Um, I've done that before. So all neatly lined up for testing in soldier-like rows. Well, it isn't always like that. There was a little bit of glaze left in this one bucket. And the, um, the, the mixer just threw it splashing out over the top. So I tried another bucket. And there was a hole in the bottom and it leaked all over the floor. Uh, and on the table before I threw it down there and tried another bucket and um, since it was lumpy the glaze just splashed everywhere so no matter what when you're mixing up glazes okay it's not going to be pretty and it's not going to be clean and I even got it on my shoe okay let's take our chances and see if this thing will work It's a little bit big for this small bucket. And we started with neat soldier-like rows. Well, one of these things let loose on the bottom and flooded the table and flooded the floor. So no matter what, 
Oh, <laughs> when you're glazing, there is going to be a mess. I don't know that glazing is such a mess, but mixing up new glazes is. And here is my new toy, the hydrometer. Um, the reason I got this is because I am using these to precise thicknesses. If you've been watching, um, I just got one glaze on here and the simple lines carved in. Um, I did another one with the glaze even thinner and it was the first one to sell. Um, this one, the glaze was too thick and you can't even see the lines in there. So these uh, I mixed up to um, recommendations um, in the standard catalog but I'm um, going to take uh, yeah, reading on what it what, uh, says, and um, I hope this thing isn't broken. Um, 38, okay, there we go. Beautiful, in one piece. Um, mark down, um, yeah, what the reading is now, and then determine if I need to use them thinner or I want them thinner. And already I can see that some of these glazes, I might want to add a glaze suspender too because it's settling already. Um, hmm. I've been fortunate up until now I haven't had any um, glazes that did a lot of separating. Okay, so these were put through the sieve, uh, an 80 mesh sieve, um, twice and we will see what reading we get. <laughs> just as I suspected um, it hits the bottom of the bucket you need to have a much deeper amount of glaze to use these things um, I actually had purchased one a year last year and returned it because I suspected just that may happen past the tests I usually use bigger batches let's see what we've got here and we've got okay we have got a re something. Okay, well, we'll write this down in the book. And they were all unforeseen occurrences. It's just too late to stop after it happens. So the tests probably should be on test tiles, but I'm going to do on them on bowls and see what actually happens. Um, taking notes, I've got the bowls numbered and with number like one with, with uh, hay bale done with um, medium cork and pale seedweed over and under it. Number two, molten green transparent over and under medium cork and pale seaweed. And so we will number the bowls, do the over under. Well, we've got the under part done. And then we'll do the over. This is it, the test kiln and the new glazes. Um, I did a mug with each of the new glazes and sea mist over top of it. All right, and it looks encouraging already. The um, hey, uh, no, the um, cork um, doesn't look bad. A little reminiscent of the snow on brick. You know, I am just going to pull these out real fast and then take a closer look at them but initial impressions okay that was the sea mist over the sea mist so okay oh there's two new ones that I'm looking for a beigey and oh wow they both look nearly the same the hay hay bale and the um oh pale seaweed both look just too matte I'm looking for something with a little more gloss um, the, um, hmm, the, uh, translucent, um, let me get the book, that might, um, work for something, um, oh, wow, and I, the want to glaze of mine, the Ohada, um, I couldn't get it through a sieve, but, um, because I don't, I, I have one that's too fine and one that's not fine enough, so I'm going to have to maybe get another sieve. And, <laughs> okay, my um, old um, snow on brick is still the one that either because I've been working with it so long, the um, little grooves carved in there, I had the glaze, the perfect thickness, um, 
you know, maybe it's because I've used it now for a while and learned to get it. Um, and then when we get back to uh, the old standbys, the um, my Albany over the sea mist and the bluey. Um, and you know, I've also gotten used to using a certain clay body. I'm not so sure that even on something I'm used to using, I like this over the spect. My um, celadon, um, even though it's made some changes when I dump something on another glaze on top of it, and you know this we will take a closer look at. I um, rather than doing test towels, I had a really dark red clay, and I put a little bit of poured a little bit of each glaze down it. So um, on one piece, I will get uh, the results of all the glazes um, and um, let's see yeah back to the you know the glaze I'm used to using the sea mist um, pulled beautifully in there I mixed it up um, since the um, hydrometer was new for me um, mixed it up just by eye um, actually all the glazes just by eye to where I thought they should be and the ones I was used to using mostly came up to a reading of about 50 and that seemed to be just the right and the sea mist I felt needed to be a little thinner I thinned it down to 55 and it came out um, perfect so maybe the judging it by eye once you get used to them is not too bad um, the new couple of the new glazes I think are a bit thin, but um, even thicker. This is way, way too matte. Um, it could make a difference on different clay bodies, but um, actually two of these are going to work. Let's see, the one, the medium cork, let's check my notes, the medium cork, and what is the other one? The Molten Green Transparent um, looks like they're going to be two that will work for me. So this is too much to digest in one video. I see a lot of disappointment, but looking into the details, if we take from them, I think we can bring some success out of it. So stop back and we'll take another look at this and give it another try.